Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms. My name's Stuart and welcome to a bit of a review video. Um, back in sort of, might have been back in October 2021, I was uh, contacted by um, Camel from uh, Archon Studio, um, who'd been looking at some of the terrain I did on the channel and, and wondered if I'd be interested in looking at some things they've got for an upcoming Kickstarter. Um, and of course, I was very, really, really happy to, to, to get my hands on some, some review stock. So uh, um, he very, very kindly sent me over um, a couple of packages um, with loads and loads and loads of stuff in. Um, so I was very, very lucky to get my hands on it all. Um, and then the Kickstarter was just d d delayed slightly, so I've been sort of sitting on it for a little while. Um, and now's time, at the beginning of 2022, the Kickstarter's about to, to go live in January, and uh, now it's time to sort of get the toys out, so to speak, and, uh, and do a bit of a review. Um, and it's their third Kickstarter, well, this is their third, sorry, this is their third edition for the Rampart and Modular Terrain, which is uh, what I'm focusing on here for this for this review. Um, but they did kindly chuck in uh, a, a linked tank in there as well. And I think as part of this third edition, there's going to be some miniatures to go with it as well. Um, and this second little box you can see me opening here. Um, this arrived a little bit later on. Um, and this is, I think, is the, the, the City Ruins um, modular terrain, which is the, looks like it's the, the last thing they've been sort of finalising and developing. And, and this is the, the set that interested me most. So if you're unaware of Arshan Studio, I thought I'd just go over to the, the website um, and show you. So the, the, um, it's their third Kickstarter for Rampart, which is their magnetised modular terrain system coming up. And you can purchase some of the things from their original Kickstarters and you can also see lots of the other things they do um, so if you're a, a child of the 80s, 90s um, you may be familiar with Master Universe so this, this definitely piqued my interest when I was looking at the website um, so there's a game there and I've definitely seen some of the miniatures painted on Instagram and things um, and you've got Wolfenstein there as well so those of you who remember playing this on the PC at school um, um, fantastic stuff so very very interesting Interesting. Um, I'll definitely be taking a closer look at some of their other products. Um, so the Kickstarter goes live on the 11th of January 2022 at time of recording. That's a few days off. Um, so I thought I'd just sort of take you through to the Kickstarter landing page and we'll look at the actual pledges and things a little bit later on. But uh, so as I mentioned previously, this is their third edition of Rampart Terrain. Um, it just sort of shows you there's four different um, styles um, to choose from. And the It's all fully modular, so they fit together with pegs. The idea is you can sort of take them apart and, and, and put them back together again um, once they're painted, so you don't just build them once. You can replace the pegs with magnets if you like. Um, and there's going to be miniatures involved in this third edition Kickstarter as well. Um, and you can sort of see there the uh, 3D renders of how they may go together. It's all in hard quality plastic, etc., etc. But let's let's take a closer look at the actual miniatures. So let's start with looking at the the things that came in the box. Um, I'm going to start with the tank because it's the only thing that's not terrain based, so to speak. So uh, it sort of stands out on its own a little bit. So the Wolverine tank looks very um, 40k, 30k Lehman Russ esque. Um, but let's have a little look inside. Okay, so what have we got? So hard plastic. It's pretty good quality. I'm not going to spend too long on each individual component. I'm it's going to become a, a ridiculously long video when you'll get far too bored and, and, and switch off. But uh, the detail looks pretty good. I haven't put any of this together yet. So at this stage, I don't know how easy it is to clean up, etc. But um, uh, yeah, I'd, I don't know why I assumed it was going to be resin, but um, um, yeah, but good quality hard plastic tank. Plenty of components. Um, pretty good. Let's have a look. So you have a. Oh, looks like a decent set of instructions. They're easy enough to follow. Nice and clear and colour coded. So early signs. Um, first. Um, 
box to open and they're yeah pretty pretty good looking stuff a little bit of artwork there and uh, some pictures of all the other miniatures so good start overall so on to the first of the terrain kits themselves now this is um, as far as i'm aware this is one of their existing kits pretty sure that you can purchase this as it is now on the, on their website um, it's a big hefty box um, you can see images of what you get and each component um, and a full component list there so let's crack it open and have a look Right then, so lots of plastic. Okay, I think that's so the floors can slide in, and we'll come back to floor later on. Oh, so this is heavier than I expected. So this is very much you sort of stand to wait for your for your plastic miniatures. This is at least these floors anyway feel like a heavier plastic. They all look very, very nicely cast. Pretty good detail on these. They definitely fit very nicely in the 40k universe. Any sci-fi universe really, but I imagine that the majority of people that are purchasing this will be looking to use it for, for games of 40k. Lots of little extra detail bits. But there's lots in this box, as, as you would have guessed from looking at the looking at the back of it. So it's stairways, little statues and things, gargoyles and and, and it's just loads and loads and loads of stuff. Okay, more walls and higher pillars. Two, two of those. Then your standard walls. I mean, you could definitely use this for, I suppose, for a sort of a high fantasy kind of game as well. See, so your AOS, that kind of stuff. Um, I can't imagine it will work quite as well if you, you know, if you get for your low fantasy, if you're doing your, your Lord of the Rings kind of more, it's more kind of based around history or Game of Thrones maybe. I don't know, paint job will do a lot to make it different. Um, looking at these bits and thinking, there's bits of brickwork shown. So yeah, maybe you could make it more fantasy. Um, not decided what I'll do with this yet. Um, looking at these walls. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my young lad is starting to get interested in playing the old game of 40k and that may well be what I do. I don't play 40k myself anymore but um, we definitely need some terrain if we do and this will go a long way to it but I'm very impressed with the contents of the kit and, and the quality of it. Obviously I haven't built any of it yet. Let's look at the next box. So another big hunk of a box this is the cobalt foundry corset it's very much like the the, the um, eternal cathedral um, fully customizable um, terrain modular terrain set list of all the parts as, as we saw before um, very industrial looking let's have a little look inside Now this is already screaming out Necromunda to me now. This is back to the more of the slightly lighter feeling plastic. Obviously floors and floor connectors. Again, super high detailed, super crisp, really thick, sturdy plastic. It's really good quality stuff. Yeah, well, loads of, of loads of opportunities for 40k players to make some fantastic terrain, multi-level. I can see Necromunda, as I've already mentioned, being absolutely fantastic for that. Um, you can make internal walls to 
play your sort of zone mortalis if you're playing 30k or, or, or 40k with it. Um, I suppose the same with both sets really but this one you could kind of paint it very industrial and use it for, for any kind of n near future skirmish game like Judge Dread or something like that plenty of opportunities but it's really good quality stuff it's very very much like picking up a, a GW clip to be honest with you in terms of the quality of the plastic from, from what I'm seeing here firsthand and there's just so much of it in the box Uh, some of the pins and what was the cathedral supports might be the pins for sticking them together um, just loads of little detail parts it's a pipe and lights and uh, don't even know what some of these are but it's not so nice all these little bits. And look at the height of it as well. So that's five, six inches. Um, and you can put them together on top of each other. You know, really high buildings. And again, for things like Necromunda, if you want to play on multi-level, these would just be fantastic. One last bit. These are a bit more ruined. Openings and things. They're very, very simple lie here because they all go together the same way essentially so you're gluing the buttresses together and that creates your your, your parts where you put your little pen your plastic um, clips in um, and that's how you push it together so the idea is you keep it completely modular and that's that's the real thing that makes it stand out same with these adding floors and things in. very 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 impressed with this so far and this brings me on now to the stuff that's um, due to be released in, in the upcoming Kickstarter um, and, the, and the reason that um, I've been sent all, the, all this stuff to have a look at. Um, so these are the um, modular functional floors um, and the, the, the ruins and walls and things as well. So let's look at the, the floors first. I'll open up a packet of those. So I believe this is all in the city ruins style and um, this is one of the new things that will be part of this next Kickstarter and this is all prototype as well so I think aside from the designs there will be some things that will change so these are the, the floors that are designed to uh, sort of clip in with the existing things I believe they're all compatible with existing buildings um, but I really like these um, these can be much more versatile I think they have got wire in them so you're not going to go kind of fantasy side but um i think for the first time with the city ruin stuff you could use it for um world war ii as well as um for science fiction things so it's going to work with your 40k and your necromunda uh things like that but also there's a lot of historical stuff on this channel um and if you play bolt action um that you could you could definitely start looking at this as a war-torn um buildings you know, you're thinking of uh, you know Berlin at the end of the war you're thinking of uh, um, somewhere in Soviet Russia or something like that just be really 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 nice war-torn blown apart buildings if you're looking for that kind of city fight style thing um, and the, the last pack of, of things and these are again prototypes um, there are some uh, some pits that are being changed um, I've got a note saying that the, the trims on these um, again were prototypes and they've made some adjustments and I'll pop a little image on the screen that they sent me but uh, um, again so these are similar to the, the stuff we looked in those, those finished boxes at the beginning um, but very very cool and what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to build up a little bit of this so you can see what it's like especially as pertaining to the, the new Kickstarter and the other stuff you've you know, got nice painted box art etc etc um, this is the, the newest stuff and, and to me if I'm honest with you the stuff that interests me the most as well um, that I may be able to use myself in the more near future but the quality 
of it is really good. It's good weighty plastic. Um, the quality of the sculpting or the design is really, really good. As I said, it probably leans slightly more towards science fiction. Um, I can definitely see plain Judd Dredd and things like that on this, but I think if I paint it right as well, you can get away with, sort of say, using it for bolt action or something like that so so here's the basic assembly guide you get in the pack well this is the the testing kit anyway um and it's really simple just like the the kits um that we saw at the beginning of this little section of the video the you've got your little buttress areas you glue them on and once they're glued on that's the only bit of gluing you do you've got your little channels there and you've got your pegs um, and those pegs allow you to fit these kits together in a sort of a multitude of different setups um, and then you just change it for each game I mean you could glue it all together but that's really not the point of the kit I don't think um, so what I'll do I'll trim some off a sprue build a build a couple of the sprues up and, uh, and I'll come back to the video and we can see how easy it is that it goes together and here we are so I've cleaned up just one sprue of the walls and a sprue of the the floors and roofs etc etc um, they clean up really well um, just as any as easy as any kind of hard plastic does did you have no noticeable mold line um, around the edge of each thing but um, nothing I wouldn't expect for I don't know some plastic of, of this thickness very very similar to the kind of cleanup you'd expect from a GW terrain kit um, and um, yeah this looks pretty good so bits are glued together well so what you've got you've got these small pins here and you've got the slightly longer pins the small pins join the walls together so you bits like that and the longer ones go in the top so you can do extra floors um, and connect some of your roofs and things on. And then you've got these little, uh, what you describe these as, like a five on a, on a dice. You can clip in like that so you can clip multiple floors together. And you use one of these, whoop, drop one on the floor there. You use one of these longer ones, which would then fit into one of the, the buttress areas. Let's just try and build something a little bit more sensical than that so um, right so need a small pin so that would go in there like so and then you've got your other walls there's a difference between the, the top and the bottom you seem to have the little metal parts there um, you glue a little retainer on there to create another socket and that just clips in that easy and that you as I say you'll never glue unless you really wanted to and you can replace these with five mil magnets now um, I suppose building a really really large set that I want to use over and over again it probably be worth the effort and, the, and purchasing the extra magnets and, and going the whole hog rather than removing the pegs all the time um, eventually I imagine they'll become a bit worn um, and the magnets will just be a, a lot a lot easier to do so anyway that's that part we could add some more um, so I can add another short peg there maybe put that like that then if I want to add a second layer I can add a couple of the uprights a couple of those little funny grid things there's no names for them in the instructions the instructions are all very nice clear pictures but it doesn't give me an idea of what they're called so excuse my poor descriptions there you go, a lot of rumbling around but as you can see floor fits in place there and you can see how with lots and lots of this kit you can really build up and up and and wide etc etc um, so you can build other layers as well i'm guessing you'd have to put a second layer on there uh, once you've got the floor in it makes it a little bit a little bit harder I mean I think I mentioned earlier a little bit I had a note about um, some of the trims not being the right side and, I, and I'll make sure that picture goes up again now I'm not quite sure exactly what that's relating to um, I think that's to do how these parts fit over the top as I say these are prototypes not quite fully fin finished sections and then you'll have lots of holes here now 
judging on the, 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 the kits we looked at a little bit earlier in the video, so the, the cathedral and the, and the foundry, they have loads of little extras which you, you'd use to fill in on the blanks. So you've not got the whole showing, I suppose, if you're using magnets and you've painted them, they wouldn't show quite as much anyway. Um, but those would, those would go in place. Um, as I say, I've not, I've only cleaned off a sprue of each, which doesn't give you a massive idea of, of the potential. Um, but I want to make sure I get this this video done and shared because I was, you know, it was very, very kind of Archon Studio to send this stuff out to me. Um, and with it being Christmas and things, it's been very hard to find time to kind of build a really big setup. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video here for me, not for you. I am going to go away and prime this and paint this. Um, so at least you get an idea of, 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 of what it looks like when it paints up and I can give you some feedback as well as viewers of how well it um, takes primer and how well it paints up etc. And here we are all painted. So they painted up really well. Um, I, I did a very basic paint job, sort of three different types of um, greys over a, a black prime. Um, building up to kind of quite a light grey. I've mixed a kind of blue and brownish tones in the greys as well. I won't give the list the paints, but the reason for doing that is it'll, it'll work quite well on a board that looks like a, a city board, but actually there's enough orange and yellows and things in there and it works more in a kind of more deserty, dusty environment as well, depending on the environment you put it in, it works, it sort of works either way. Um, and then I sort of painted some of the tiles in black and white checker and just painted all the pipes and metal in sort of, um, sort of metals and coppers and, and things like that. And you've got sort of girding and things um, and then a bit of a gloss varnish an oil wash um, and then a few little effects afterwards a little bit of rust patches and just painted in some sort of mossy green areas actually using a contrast paint um, but I, I'm really pleased the way they um, the way they come out and it's a relatively quick paint job it's not the quickest you could possibly do but I wanted to make sure that I picked out enough of the detail to do the, the miniatures justice um, but I also didn't want to kind of turning it into sort of show kind of quality stuff um, because there's so much of it and that wouldn't be how I would go around painting it for, for terrain for a table um, and I absolutely intend to um, paint the rest of the, the city ruins stuff up the, the same way because I, I think I can put it to use in with, with multiple multiple game systems and things um, so the undersides are all fully detailed as well so they paint up very nicely I think it's this one has yeah some, some lights and things underneath um, yeah, again, you can leave those, they're not going to be very visible, but if it's there, I like to paint it. Um, but let's um, let's just build it into a, a, a little arrangement. And here we are, I'd have to excuse the unimpressive structure that I've built, um, but I really need to build a few more of the kits to really get anywhere near like the most out of it. Um, I've got far too much floor versus wall space as well, so another frame or two of the wall will go a long way to make a big difference, but you can see the uh, connecting pins which I haven't painted. I thought it was pointless, they're going to be uh, going to be pushed in and out of holes, the paint's just going to wear off. Um, but you can see it kind of goes together really nicely anyway, you can use the larger plates as flooring, um, not just roof, uh, but I think it gives you some really nice grim looking industrial terrain for this set. As I said, paints up really nicely and uh, can see that fitting very well in 40k Necromunda or in a sort of a warehouse building sort of World War II or modern as well for 28mm. Um, and uh, I am a fan of the way the, way the kit looks. Um, Having sort of built it a couple of times now, it's a little bit fiddly at times. Um, I can imagine over time the pegs will get, become a bit worn, the holes will become a bit worn. So I think um, moving forward, I'd be looking at using some kind of magnetization. Um, I'd have to make sure that um, polarity works well for that and it doesn't limit the kind of the structure you can build. But um, definitely when you know that these are always the bottom and that's always the top, at least for going vertically I can see myself using magnets maybe what we would see when I've um, played around with the rest of the kit um, but I do like it and of course you can just glue the kits together you can build build yourself something and, and, and stick it together um, you don't have to have it modular it's, it's it's good enough value as it is but the modular is one of its uh, unique parts of it. so let's take a little look at the 
Kickstarter. Um, so this is the uh, the pre-launch Kickstarter page. Um, so it starts on the 11th of January at the time of recording. I think this video will probably be out around the 5th or 6th of January by the time I finished editing and putting it together. So you may well see this a few days before the, the Kickstarter goes live. Obviously, if you haven't seen it before the Kickstarter goes live and there's still time left on the Kickstarter to get on it, if not, head over to the um, the, the web pages and things because I'm sure some of the things will be available afterwards just without all the rewards you get from from the Kickstarter itself. Um, so I haven't, you know, I haven't backed any of the previous Kickstarters myself. Um, I'd seen the terrain on a couple of videos before, um, but I hadn't really thought more on it until I was contacted by, by Camel. Um, so... Um, I can't give you any kind of background other than say that they've they've done plenty of Kickstarters before, but the sounds of things is the third edition of the Rampart Terrain alone, so they're not not shy of of um, of, of experience with Kickstarters. So um, it, it's it's one I imagine that will be be fairly safe to back. Um, so if we scroll down, you get a bit of an idea um, of the kind of packages you get. They look like they're they're, they're starting at uh, ninety nine euros. Um, and you get um, one of your base packs. Um, let's have a flip through till we start to see the packs properly. I've already talked about most of the things I'm scrolling through now already. Um, you'll be better off going to have a look at it yourself in your own leisure, really. But you can see all the extra bits that are, are coming out. So there's like add-on packs with ladders and stairs and ramps and things. That looks really, really cool. Um, so the terrain sets. So you start from 99 euros. You've got the city ruins, which is the ones that I've been um, building and painting. You've seen me, me show off. Much better paint job than, than mine there. Shows you what you can do. Definitely makes it look much more... Um, kind of modern um, modern day zombie apocalypse kind of thing. There you go. Actually, said zombie zone on the poster. Um, I've deliberately toned mine down a little bit, so I might be able to use it for some World War Two. Um, but um, there you go. So you see, at the moment, it's still to be to be announced of how many parts you're going to get of each thing. And that's the city ruins was the the last thing that you know that they were working on. I think um, the Eternal Cathedral. That's a finished box. That's a, a hundred euros as well 160 parts um shows you all the you know 100 millimeter tall parts shows you the list of everything else you get in the pack all the little um buttresses and little extra details and things so i will hopefully do some more videos on these actually as i got a bit more time and i start to build them up i'll definitely um put some more videos out there the cobalt factory which I, they also very kindly sent me again that's the, the standard starter price um, 146 parts and then there's a full part list of all the things you get so you can have a really good look um, decide which is the right for you Kazumi Temple so this has got like some kind of an Aztec look to it and it's be very good for fantasy I can see um, I'm not very up on Warlord Games is um, fantasy games but is it Erewhon um, or is it the Aztec game there's a couple of things that they do that, that, that this might work with quite well so I'm thinking I'm just trying to think outside the box from the, the standard Age of Sigmar and, and 40k all the time um, but um, you get loads in that kit as well and there's a city defenders pack so that's, so that's 50 euros and that's the, uh, the the tank we saw and some some very sort of Krieg guard looking kind of um, miniatures which I know are quite popular at the moment and I've actually by marksmen and things they look pretty cool to be honest with you so i know for horus heresy players might be interested in these for militia um especially with the psychics there um and uh, and some some of those riders you don't see rough riders so much anymore so these are cool um i can definitely see some 30k 30k players being interested in them for uh, militia um there you go commandos and things as well you can alternative um necromander gangs and stuff um, lots and lots and lots of stuff um, some other reviews people put out previously from the previous things. So loads to go look at on the, the Kickstarter page. Um, and as usual, there's loads of deals. So you can get, um, you save, you're saving, look, look, at the, look at the amounts you're saving on the, these terrain sets. I think the terrain set that you can buy on the on their website for 69 uh, euros is, is much smaller than, than what you get with these Kickstarter bundles. Um, so 99 will get you one of the sets. And then plus you get kind of a vertical bundle or the set of... Um, um, models, troop models and stuff um, or you can buy two lots there's lots of the good savings buying buying two lots and things as well, but anyway, that's up to you guys if any of you wanted to go ahead and back it um, they've not paid me for the review 
I am generally offered the similar things if I'd like to review it and I've given it an honest review I think it's pretty good I will probably make a lot of use out of these as I start playing with my son and I know he's been badgering me as I've been looking through the kits and looks quite excited about the idea of building up big cities and things like that and then the the city ruin stuff I plan on carrying a build it all and paint it all out like the stuff you've seen and, and maybe use it for some sort of skirmish style uh, World War 2 at times so I will try and get that um, on future videos as well um, but thanks very much for watching the video it's a little bit different to normal but I wanted to make sure that I, I gave um, the, the really kind guys at Arshan Studios um, a proper video um, and, and looked to their products in detail because they were so kind to send me them um, I know it's not um, you don't see these kind of videos on the channel too often so I hope you forgive me um, but um, it, you know some of you may have found it useful I found out about a product that you've not seen before and um, and they do they are pretty good I would definitely in terms of the quality of them I cannot fault them at all they look, looks very very high quality stuff the kind I've not seen terrain that sort of high quality outside of GW very often at all especially in hard plastic so for the science fiction more modern side of things it's um, it's well up there so anyway thanks very much for watching um, um, and please give us a subscribe and check out the other videos on the channel and I will catch you soon.